Who can resist the Angry Birds? Apparently Houston has some Angry Birds. And we've got Joe Pascucci. He is the is NASA's International Space Station Chief Trajectory Operations Officer. Bit of a mouthful, but he's a very smart man. He knows about trajectory, which is how you launch Angry Birds. So tell us about the physics of this, Joe. Morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, the physics of it are great. Uh, it actually demonstrates the way uh, Objects will behave in the absence of gravity, and once they get into a gravity field, how they'll behave there. It's a great example of how we design space projections to... We appear to be losing Joe's sound here at, 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 at our end. Um, so maybe we could, we could fix that. Um, Joe, can you, can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh, great. Well, we got your sound back. Continue speaking then, please, okay. about Angry Birds. That's saying how uh, it's a great way to demonstrate how we can use uh, trajectories to get from one place to another. And uh, I think it's a great teaching tool for that. So how realistic um, are the, the physics in the game? Um, you know, I know I, that... Yeah, go from, ahead. From what I've seen, I would say they've been, you know, obviously simplified from what happens in reality. But I, I think it's a real, a really good example of how, like, a, Interplanetary, and interplanetary probes could take uh, gravity assists from other planets in some of those stages on the game. I've, I've taken the opportunity to play it this morning before I came to work. Uh, how you could use the gravity of another planet to help you get from one place to another. Oh, and that's, it's like the slingshot idea, which was one of the original ideas with, with the, the, the moon landings, right? Uh, that's exactly what I saw when I played the game, yeah. That's what you saw when you played. So, um, basically, playing Angry Birds is does it make you better at your job? <laughs> I mean, does it? I mean, should every everyone who wants to be a NASA trajectory oper operations officer should they be going and getting a, a an Angry Birds game now? I think maybe if you're a kid, that'll be good inspiration to help. But a, a good college education with a strong mathematics and physics background would be more important. Mm. Yeah, it seems like. <laughs> It seems like actual study. I would prefer for our NASA engineers to, ha yeah, math. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't think it's going to work on a resume. <laughs> so yeah. what, Sam, it's not going to work on a resume because I played Angry Birds for 400 hours straight. That ain't, ain't going to work. So, and you're not a rocket scientist now? I'm, well, apparently that doesn't make a, you, I, Joe just told me so. That doesn't make me a rocket scientist. You are, though, Joe. So uh, what, what, things, um, what, what things can, when, you, when you're doing this, what can we learn um, from sort of space? Um, and, and the way things are projected, and how is it different firing Angry Birds in space than on land? Well, it's, it's really just an extension of firing them on the land. When you, when you fire an Angry Bird on land, it follows uh, a trajectory like we would expect, but in reality, that trajectory is almost like being in orbit, except your orbit happens to always hit the Earth. So this game takes those trajectories out further and allows you to see what would happen if you were near an object but far enough away that you could actually fall around it. And that's what being in orbit is. It's falling around the Earth. So it's fall falling around it. Now, there, there's got to be other factors there. I mean, there's no atmosphere in space, so there's no resistance to things, um, and, and there's no gravity. So presumably these, these trajectories could be quite, 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 quite enormous. Uh, they could be. In, in reality, if you were playing Angry Birds on a real scale, uh, things would take a lot longer than probably what you're seeing in that game. But I think, like I said, it's a, it's a great example of the types of things that we begin to think about when we think conceptually about what's happening uh, in orbit to go from one place to another. So do you have any tips for people who are going to download the game and start playing Angry Birds in space? Anything that they should keep in mind? Uh, my main tip would be, uh, besides playing the game and, and trying to, to get your pigs that you're trying to kill, take some time and have some fun and see what happens when you, when you throw your birds in different places. Because uh, you can get a real feel for what things will probably or kind of look like uh, in space. I, I love this. Does it, do I get extra points towards my rocket scientist status for firing rubber bands around the office? That's trajectory. Uh -uh. I, I think we could probably give you some extra points. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Joe, Joe Pascucci, he's in, in Houston. He's with NASA's International Space Station, and he's the trajectory, Chief Trajectory Operations Officer, which is, which is great, and we loved you being here. Thank you very much.